Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create pop-up in Go Eye Level or how to create a sign-up form using Go Eye Level. The first thing you want to do after you have created your account on Go Eye Level, which you can do using their 14-day free trial period, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, I want you to go over to the top left hand corner and you are going to tap right where you see click here to switch and you are going to tap on your account name. Once you have selected your account name, you will be redirected to a new dashboard. On this new dashboard, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option once more and you are going to scroll down and you are going to select sites. After tapping on sites, you are going to go up to the top menu option and I want you to hover over forms and you are going to select builder. Once you have selected builder, all you will need to do now is tap on add form in the top right hand corner. Then from there, I would recommend that you choose from one of their templates. So you will tap on template and you can see numerous templates that you can choose from depending on the niche that you are in and also what is the purpose of your pop-up or your that are the sign-up form that you want to use. So let's say for example I would like to use this sign-up form. I will simply tap on it. Then I'm going to tap on continue in the top right hand corner. Once you have done that you can see the template is being added to the dashboard. Once it has been added to the dashboard I'll show you how to edit it. So you can see we are being redirected to a new page. On this new page, you are going to go over to the top left hand corner once more. And from there, you can tap right where you see the plus to add different elements. So for example, if you wanted to add something more. So let's say instead of only collecting the person's email address, let's say we'd also like to collect their phone number. You could select phone right here and you could simply drag and place it. So you can see that that field has now been added. You can also collect address. You can add numerous fields if you want. And you can also add images if you want. You can also add buttons if you want. And you can add numerous stuff as you can see from the left hand corner right here. If you would like to add custom field, you could tap on custom field from the top, then tap on add custom field and you'll be able to add a custom field. Once everything is to your liking, and by the way, you can change the text if you want by simply tapping on the image, you can change the image. You can also change any text section by tapping on it. As you can see here in the right hand corner, I can edit the text or I can change the font size or the font color. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Then once it has been saved, you are going to tap on integrate in the top right hand corner. After selecting integrate, you are going to see this pop up and you can choose whether you like it to be a pop up or you like it to be a sticky sidebar or inline. And you can also see you can edit the trigger type. So would you like it to be triggered on scrolling, show after a few seconds are always show. So I'll tap on show after a few seconds and from there I'll type in one second. Then you can see activation option. So you can activate on visit, always activated. And you can also scroll down and you can deactivate options if you want. Now let's say for example, I would like to integrate this form on my Google site. All I would need to do is select one of these four options, for example, inline. Then after I've selected the trigger type, I'm going to tap on copy embed code. Once you have tapped on copy embed code, you can tap on done at the bottom of the page. After you have tapped on done, you're going to go into Google Sites or you can do this on your WordPress website. You will simply select a section that you would like to add your form. Then you are going to tap on embed from the right hand menu option. After selecting embed, you are going to tap on embed code. 
if you were using a WordPress website, you would simply select HTML. And you are going to paste in the HTML code. Then you are going to tap on Next. After you have tapped on Next, if you are using Google Sites, you will see a preview. So you can see a preview right here. So you can see how it looks. Then you are going to tap on Insert. Once you have tapped on Insert, you are going to see a small box. And from there, you can adjust the size of the form by simply pulling on the box. So you can increase or decrease the size of the form if you want by simply pulling on the box. Once it is placed to your liking and it is in a size that you find appealing, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish in the top right hand corner for it to go live. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.